Well, I put on my best pink, red, and burgundy fun little dress to help celebrate the month of love. And you might notice a special little hashtag in the title of this video. There are a few of us sewing YouTubers participating in this tag. And the way a tag works, obviously, is you use this hashtag and then you can go watch other people's videos just by clicking the hashtag. I think for you guys, it appears right above the title of the video below the um, player. You'll see like three or four hashtags there. You can click on sew the love and go see everybody's videos talking about this same topic. So the challenge for us this month and the tag itself is to share with you guys, share the love, sew the love and share with you some of our favorite creators. They don't necessarily have to be YouTubers. They could also be bloggers or um, Instagram peeps, <laughs> whoever it is. Um, but we all have five sort of prompts to help guide us on certain categories of who we would nominate. So without further ado, here is my version of the So The Love tag. All right, the very first question is, who would you swap closets with? And instantly, my mind went to Mimi G's shoe collection. And I know that's probably not the intention of the prompt. You probably are thinking, no, who would you swap like handmade clothes closets with? Granted, Mimi also has a fantastic handmade wardrobe as well, but have you seen her shoe collection? <laughs> I mean, that in and of itself is enough for me to be like, yes, I pick you. I want your closet. She actually doesn't live very far from me. I think she's in and around Atlanta. I'm in Charlotte. I mean, I could just zip right over there, Mimi. Just give me a call. Any of your shoes you're looking to get rid of. I mean, she has everything from like stilettos to sneakers, multiples of all of them, probably one in every single color of the rainbow. An amazing shoe collection, but also really great quality handmade clothes as well which kind of feels like the consolation, which should be swapped. It should be, I'm here for the clothes, but I'll also take the shoes. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm here for the shoes. <laughs> and then I'll take your clothes too. You know what I'm saying? Her shoe collection is just out of this world amazing. Out of this world amazing. So Mimi G is who I would swap closets with. Final answer. The next question is, who would you get to teach you something sewing related? And this, I cheated a little bit because she already teaches me things sewing related. And that's Jennifer Stern from J Stern Designs. If you guys are not familiar with her YouTube channel, you must check it out. She does all kinds of wonderful videos uh, all about fitting. She has wonderful tutorials. She does lives. She just has such a vast library of lessons and really like breaks things down to a digestible. Like you're not gonna go there, watch one video and learn everything you need to know about fitting pants. But you can go there and you can watch one video and learn a lot about one specific part of getting pants to fit and then come back and watch another video and learn, you know, a lot of information about another specific part of making pants. And over time, you don't realize it, but you are learning a lot about fitting pants in little chunks. Um, she obviously teaches how to fit all kinds of things, you know, arms and just anything that you guys have problems with. She also sells patterns. If you don't remember from my holiday gift guide, um, she has a few patterns as well, which also aid in teaching. So I guess, for me, it would be like to have Jen come here, you know, and we would sit down together and she would just like do her master work <laughs> in telling me everything I need to know um, about crotch curves and arm size and everything in between. So Jay Stern, she's my vote. Please be my teacher, my personal one-on-one -on -one teacher. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> I don't know where she lives. I don't think it's close by though. Okay, so the next question is, who would you trade sewing spaces with? And I thought about this a lot, and I ended up settling on Jen from In Jen's Sewing Room. Not necessarily because of what her actual sewing studio looks like, but more so because I know she lives in Florida. She films all the time on her little covered, like, screened-in porch, 
and there's always like birds chirping or like cicadas in the background. It just, it just feels like a immersive nature experience <laughs> every time you watch one of her videos. So, No, it is my back lanai and I'm out here because it is so pretty. This is my chair where I sit at the table with my laptop every morning and I thoroughly enjoy it. Oh my gosh, it's one of the pleasures of my life. Video. So I don't know if she's able to sew out on that patio, but every time I watch her videos and I see her on the patio and you can hear the sounds of nature, it's just so calming and relaxing to me. So even though she doesn't sew out there, I would take her sewing space so long as it does come with the patio. You know what I mean? Like it has to be both. Again, it's kind of like the Mimi G thing. Like I, I'm here for the patio, but I'll also take the sewing space when it should be the other way around. I'm here for the sewing space, but I'll also take the patio. No, I really just want the porch. Like I just want to be able to sit outside. She has like a big, like a nice big round table. She just always looks so at ease and peaceful and happy. And that's what I want. So figure out a way to sew on that screened in porch, or I'll just take that whole space. You know what I mean? Both of them. <laughs> All right. Next up, we next up we've got who would I like to go fabric shopping with? And this just really tugged at my heartstrings because I am missing like craving my shopping experiences with the sewing girls that I met when I lived in Charleston. One of them is still on Instagram, still sewing all the time. Um, Amber from So I Sewed This. So I choose her. Amber, I want to go back to New York City with you. I want to shop the garment district with you. Um, it, I mean, we went, what, three or four years in a row. And it was going to be like, every year, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And then COVID hit. It's been two years, going on three. We have no plans to go this year. Who knows what's even happened to the garment district in the past few years, I mean, is anybody even still open? I know mood is, but like, we really liked going into like the really kind of shady ones. Like one time a fight broke out, like between a vendor and an owner, they were like screaming at each other and us not having a clue how to handle that. And also both being flights in the fight or flight mentality, we booked it and we got the heck out of there. <laughs> we were like, we don't care what fabric we fell in love with. Like nothing is worth like, whatever this is about to become. And we just have so many stories like that. So many wonderful memories of our time shopping together. She is such a great wing woman when shopping. You know, she encourages you to buy the things that you're like on the fence about, but she knows that you really love and also kind of helps you like, no, you don't really need that. I get it's cheap, but like, we got to keep moving. Like you don't need that fabric. So I have a bunch of, um, videos that I did like daily vlogs when we were in New York. So if you want to see what that was like and go down memory lane with me, um, you can check those out. I'll link them up here for you guys. Um, it, it was just, it's so nostalgic and I can't wait till we can do something like that again. I just, okay. So the last question, the last prompt that we have here is whose fabric and pattern stash would I like to inherit? And hands down, the very first person that came to mind was Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery. I know you guys know how many patterns she cranks out all the time. She, I feel like every day I'm on her channel and she's got another new garment that she's made from another new pattern that was just released. She has the cutest little wardrobe, great um, sense of style when it comes to fabrics that she chooses to pair with the patterns. And I mean, her pattern stash, it's got to be multiple hundreds. I mean, maybe Whitney can confirm in the comments, but it's got to be like a lot of patterns. So I think for just the sheer magnitude and the quantity, it would be, it would be Whitney's. So Whitney, write me in the will, babe. Just, you know, go ahead and call up your estate lawyer, whoever it is, put me in the will. I'll take it all. I'll take really good care of it. You know I will. Um, I'll cherish and adore every single one of them. So yes, put me down. Put me down. <laughs> well, this was so much fun. I love sort of like thinking outside the box and sort of like <sighs> acknowledging things about our favorite creators that maybe we don't always acknowledge about ourselves. 
Um, and it was fun to do that in like a sort of lighthearted way. If you are not familiar with any of these people, if you're not familiar with their channels, check the description box. I'll have them all tagged. Um, it feels so good to share the love today and sew the love, share the sewing love. I don't know if that, I don't know. Um, but that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> um, but I will see you all very soon. Bye.